external ballistic means the study of the projectile right from the moment it leaves the muzzle end of the firearm and reaches the target or drops down on the ground due to gravitational pull. In this part we shall study the range, the length of the range, the time of flight as well as other factors regarding the range that is uh, the safe zones in the trajectory and other items which are concerned with velocity of escape. It is quite right assertion that the maximum range would be attained at an angle of elevation of 45 degrees so far as vacuum is concerned. But we are dealing with the crime on the surface of the earth where air is present and it offers the resistance. Therefore, the maximum range will not be attainable in normal cases which we are handling at an angle of 45 degrees, but it will be between 29 to 35 degrees. In case of 303 rifle, it is 34 degrees nearly and this gives the maximum range of fire. The other factors which can be responsible in the study of external ballistics are velocity of escape. Velocity of escape is the velocity of the projectile which when fired vertically upwards it will not come back to the earth but will remain in the atmosphere beyond the atmosphere and will not return to the earth. The velocity magnitude of this velocity is 11 kilometers per second. So, if we throw a bullet or any other material with velocity of escape or more than that it will not come back to the earth. The other factors which affect the gravitational uh, the velocity of the projectile are the pull of the earth called gravitational pull or the resistance of the air they can contribute significantly. Another factor which requires consideration for discussion is the drift of the projectile. The velocity of the projectile gets affected due to the presence of resistance in the air as well as because of the spin of the bullet which is given to the bullet because of the rifling effect of the firearm. Dear students, after studying this module, you shall be able to know about horizontal range, learn the concept of escape velocity and will identify different factors affecting the trajectory of projectile. So let us start this chapter with a brief introduction. External ballistic is the study of the motion of the projectile in the air after coming out from the muzzle end of the weapon. External ballistic starts as soon as internal ballistic comes to an end. Internal ballistic is limited to happenings which occurs inside the barrel of the firearm. External ballistics as well as internal ballistic is important from the forensic point of view. External ballistics is concerned with firing of pullets to disperse the crowd, use of improvised firearms used in criminal cases involving homicides and murders. It contributes much during war times. In peacetime, it plays an important role in space travel where atmosphere is absent and projectile moves in vacuum. Some aspects of external ballistic have been discussed in part 1, namely resistance due to air, bullet drop due to gravitational pull of the earth, 
maximum vertical range, remaining velocity, ballistic coefficient, and sectional density, and others including horizontal range, determination, wind drift, yaw, instability of bullet spin, scape velocity, and others would be discussed in this part along with structural features and shape of the trajectories and their relation to the velocity of the projectiles. External ballistics is an extremely intricate topic and before the advent of powerful computers, the calculations were arduous and time-consuming, requiring the use of many mathematical tables. With modern computers and ballistic programs, it is now possible to calculate the most complex trajectory equations with just a few key strokes. The two main factors which affect the performance of a bullet on leaving the barrel are air resistance on its nose and the effect of the gravitational pull of the earth. Now let us see horizontal range determination. Horizontal distance is the maximum distance that a gun will shoot in some direction and the barrel elevation angle necessary for the bullet to reach that maximum distance are questions that arise often when an outdoor shooting range is being designed, particularly in an urban or suburban area. The maximum ranges can be more than a mile for some handgun bullets and more than 4.5 miles for some rifle bullets. It is necessary quite often to place barriers forward and above the firing lines to block bullets accidentally discharged from elevated guns from traveling far downrange to threaten inhabitants, homes or business establishments. The maximum range which a missile will obtain when fired is dependent upon the elevation of the barrel the bullet shape and the initial velocity, the computation to accurately determine the external ballistics of a missile are exceedingly complicated. Summarily, horizontal range is the distance traveled by the bullet horizontally. If a bullet is fired with a velocity v at an angle of elevation alpha, then its component in vertical direction and horizontal direction would be V sin alpha and V cos alpha respectively when air resistance is not taken into consideration. Distance traveled by the bullet in horizontal direction R is equal to T multiplied by effective velocity where T is the travel time. Effective velocity is equal to horizontal component of initial velocity v. So, r is equal to t multiplied by v cos alpha. Knowing that earth's pull will affect the vertical component of velocity and not the horizontal component, let us calculate the total time of flight t by finding maximum height reached by the bullet when its velocity becomes zero and does not go up any more. From the equation, final velocity is equal to initial velocity minus gt. At highest point, final velocity is equal to zero. Therefore, v sine alpha minus gt would be equal to zero or we can say v sine alpha is equal to gt or t is equal to v sin alpha divided by g. Here total time of bullet flight t is equal to 2t because bullet took half the time to reach the highest point. Putting the value of small t is equal to v sin alpha total time of bullet flight that is capital T would be equal to 2 t is equal to 2v sin alpha. Therefore, horizontal range is equal to t multiplied by v cos alpha, which by placing the value would be 
2t multiplied by v cos alpha which will give us 2v sin alpha v cos alpha divided by g which we can write as v square 2 sin alpha cos alpha divided by g putting the value of 2 sin alpha cos alpha we can write it as v square sin 2 alpha divided by g now maximum horizontal range would be v square divided by g when sin alpha is 1 sin 90 is 1 alpha is equal to 45 degree at 45 degree one get maximum horizontal range that would be equal to v square divided by g it is correct that in vacuum the trajectory is maximum horizontal range would be obtained at an elevation angle of 45 degree and its value would be v square divided by g in air, however, a maximum range is obtained when the angles are in the range of 29 degree to 35 degree, depending on projectiles. Point 303 Mark 6 ammunition acquires the maximum range at an elevation angle of 34 degree in 42 minutes. With small arms bullets, it is found that the maximum range is attained at an elevation of about 29 degree from 29 degree to 35 degree there is little increase in range the angle of elevation at which maximum range is obtained is called the critical angle at elevations in excess of 35 degree the maximum range is attained begins to decrease now let us see experimental determination of trajectories what could be the maximum altitude that a bullet will attain as with many other subjects that one comes across in forensic firearm examinations, this has little real relevance in everyday case examinations. The test firing for the trajectory determination is done from a machine test or from a bench test after ascertaining the proper functioning of the baseline. The height of various ranges from the baseline of various screens gives the height of the trajectory at distances of the screens. Plotting the distances and heights gives the trajectory of the projectile. There should be large number of shots to ensure better accuracy. Another method for trajectory determination is to have firing in a large and wide uninhabited area of appropriate dimension to cover a range of projectiles of which the trajectories are required to be determined with necessary precautions to ensure that no accidents due to stray bullets take place. It should be noted that this only relates to shotgun ammunition and round balls and has no relevance at all to conventional bullets. The two main factors which affect the performance of a bullet on leaving the barrel are air resistance on its nose and the effect of gravitational pull of the earth. As a result of these forces, the bullet will on leaving the barrel describe a downward curved path or trajectory. As a result of these forces, the bullet will on leaving the barrel describe a downward curved path or trajectory. The exact shape of this trajectory can be predetermined by knowing gravitational effect, muzzle velocity, angle of elevation of the barrel, sectional density of the bullet, bullet shape. Now let us have a look on maximum effective range. As can be seen from the chapter on bullet performance and wounding capabilities, the amount of energy needed to be effective on a given target is an extremely difficult thing to quantify. The maximum effective range is probably even more difficult to quantify due to the number of variables which come into play. That is bullet weight, bullet design, velocity, bullet diameter, bullet placement, weapon accuracy and so on. Each and every situation must therefore be taken on its own merit. 
it has been stated that the maximum effective range is the greatest distance that a weapon may be expected to fire accurately and inflict casualties or damage now let us discuss escape velocity escape velocity is the velocity with which a projectile should be projected in the vertical upward direction so that it does not return to the earth the gravitational pull of the earth is overcome by the projectiles flying at a very high velocity missiles flying over 8 km per second would orbit the earth in a trajectory if the velocity is more than 11 km per second the object will fly away into space and will not return to earth the velocity at which an object escapes the gravitational pull is termed as escape velocity the following relations gives the value of escape velocity escape velocity is equal to under root 2gr where g is equal to gravitational acceleration and r denotes radius of earth value of escape velocity is 11 km per second the rotation of the earth around its own axis tend to hurl away the projectiles but the effect is too little to affect practically the small ammunition trajectories now let us see factors affecting trajectory there are internal as well as external factors affecting the trajectory of the projectile which is internal factor internal factors affecting trajectory shapes are velocity of the projectile spin of the projectile the angle of the fire structural feature the most important factor affecting the trajectory shape is the velocity of the bullet then comes external factors external factors affecting trajectory shapes are resistance of air wind deflection gravitational pull on the projectile and lastly rotation of the earth now dear students let us summarize this chapter after studying this chapter we have learned that external ballistics is the study of the motion of the projectile in the air after coming out from the muzzle end of the weapon external ballistics starts as soon as internal ballistics comes to an end internal ballistics is limited to happenings which occurs inside the barrel of the firearm we have also learned that external ballistics is an extremely intricate topic and before the advent of powerful computers the calculations were arduous and time consuming requiring the use of many mathematical tables horizontal range is the distance traveled by the bullet horizontally escape velocity is the velocity with which a projectile should be projected in the vertical upward direction so that it does not return to earth then from this chapter we have learned that the value of escape velocity can be calculated by the relation escape velocity is equal to under root 2gr and lastly from this chapter we have learned that the most important factor affecting the trajectory shape is the velocity of the bullet